So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. So hi everyone. Today we will be talking about a very interesting LLM model that OpenAI has recently launched mm -hmm. that is GPT-4 Omni. So basically it can be taken as an extension for GPT-4 with a lot mm -hmm. more added new capabilities. So let's get started. So basically they have named the model GPT-4O where O stands for Omni. What I am understanding is it must be referring to the words omniscient that means knowing everything and omnipotent having unlimited power which might be referring to its capabilities to handle any data format like audio, images, text, videos using a single model. This is actually a great event because uh, before this, if you have used the mic option in chat GPT for conversation, actually this was getting handled by a bunch of models, not just one, where one of the models convert the audio to text the LLM works on the text to generate an output and the output text is then converted back to an audio using a third model. So basically it is a combination of three models. Now with the incoming of GPT-4 Omni, all these three steps are getting done by just one model. That is the best part. Now let's talk about some of the important features that GPT-4 Omni has got. So a strong focus is towards audio and video alongside images and text. So uh, basically, if you remember, GPT-4 is not known for its audio and video capability. So this is a big add on. And given the demonstration on OpenAI official page, this looks really, really terrific. Apart from that, the latency rate is also quite low. As mentioned, it is about 232 milliseconds on an average, which is very, very similar to human conversations. So eventually it, you, it won't appear as if you're talking to a machine. It would appear as you would be talking to a actual human being. The latency is that low. The voices and tones that are used by chat GPT while answering as an audio doesn't appear mechanical. At least in the demonstration, it is able to giggle. It is able to cry, add other emotions as well while answering so that it makes it more realistic. Talking about the performance, GPT-4 Omni is able to perform similar to GPT-4 on text and code. It has shown significant improvement on non-English languages as well, like Hindi, uh, Spanish, etc. that you can check on the official page. The best part being about GPT-4 Omni is that it is available for free to all chat GPT users on mobile and desktop app. So now you have access to the best model available as well for free. Uh, when you're using the API version, it is comparatively 50% cheaper as compared to GPT-4. So this is again an add-on. Uh, apart from that, uh, not as I already told you, Omni is able to achieve similar results as GPT-4 on text and coding and has set up new high standards on multilingual audio and vision capabilities that didn't exist before. So all in all, GPT-4 Omni looks to be a very strong model and I assume that it may make GPT-4 obsolete quite soon. Now talking about how to access GPT-4 Omni, it's quite easy to use. You need to go to chatgpt.com that where you are accessing the current UI and there you just need to switch from GPT-3.5 to GPT-4 Omni as you can see in the screenshot. The last answer being, so would GPT-4 become obsolete? Maybe. Uh, given the results, right now Omni looks similar to GPT-4 on text, but has lo looked way better on audio and video and has an improved latency and the cost has also reduced. So on all the fronts, Omni looks to be a clear winner. But we must remember that in the recent past also, uh, some companies have shown these marketing gimmicks to make their uh, product popular. Uh, one name that I remember is Devin and eventually in the real world, it didn't go well. So I feel that uh, it's quite early 
to have a stay, say on GPT for Omni and let people test it out in the real world. And we shall wait and shouldn't get too excited looking at the demonstrations because most of the time these demonstrations are decorated. So with this, it's a wrap. I hope you try out GPT for Omni and let me know your views. Thank you.